this plow guy who's on the side of the road because his pump won't quit running. So I was looking into it. I thought it was something under the hood up there, but it's not. It's this, it's this switch right here. So I'll show you guys how I fix it. Pretty easy. Just gotta pull this box apart. Cut off the truck so it quits running that battery. So this this switch is bad. So I'll pull it out and we'll put it on the bench and we'll get it fixed. Alright, here we are with this switch that we were talking about a minute ago. Um I had to get the grinder out and kind of groove in this screw. Which I don't know why I didn't record it. But it didn't. This will usually pop off. Ugh, sometimes it's difficult. So that pops off. And then I'll go on to whatever one that I put back in there. See? And this piece, this piece here goes like that. So this actually looks like a different style than even these ones. I have to look in the drawer and see if we have one. I'll get it out and I'll show you the difference. So the difference in between these two these two here, if you can see that, if I'm in the picture or not, those two, and then this one here has a jumper in between the white one and that prong. So we might have to make a jumper from here to here with that one. I will have to go look and see if I have this style in the box, which I don't think I do. So we might have to make a jumper for that. So we did not have we did not have the same one. So what I did was I rustled up one of those, which I might have to make another one for this post. So this one will go from here. I can get it to go on. That one will go there. I have to flip it so it's on the inside. That one will have to go like that, I think. And then this one will go like this. Like that. So that's how that will go. And then this white one. We'll go on there. But looking at this switch also, looks like I have to make another one to go on the inside. So I'll go get more stuff for that. So here, we'll make another one. This one will be out of black wire instead. That one would just get crimped there. Make sure I'm using my crimpers right because last time I had them upside down in the last video. So that will get crimped on there. Hopefully I make it long enough. Other than that, we'll get crimped on to there. Okay, 
Oh, you son of a gunner. Twisted, that's why. Crimper. Ah, come on. Okay. And then that one will jump the two middle wires over. white wire is a little heavier duty than that one. So I'll do that, that, like that. Phone's dinging. So now, this one here is supposed to plug in to this inside one, like that, and then this green one will come off and plug into here, a red one goes in the middle and then the yellow one will go here I know that looks like a couple mess and then we gotta try to get it all to go back up in its hole so I always take these off Take that one off, and you have to screw this this nut. So like this one, you have to screw that one all the way down to the bottom, because otherwise it hits on this bracket here. So then you put that one like that. Take the one off from the old switch, and you run it on the top. Run it down on the top here. Like that. Tighten it down. Make sure it's straight. One way, the other. So there's no way to know if this is up or down, that's up or down, or this is up or down. You don't know until you put it in the truck. And sometimes they like them either way. I don't know which way it's supposed to be. So I will have to throw it in the truck and test it. So I'm pretty sure we solved that issue with that switch. If we... It's our, uh, the key's on, I think. Yeah, the key's on. So the key is on, and if we go up and down, you can watch that plow back there. That's down. Pump shuts off. Bring it up. Pump shuts off. So that was the issue with that portion of the truck. Come on, try to get the key off and not look like a fool on camera. Keys off, but